A convenience store. What's up guys, Nate here. And today, I went to my local convenience store just to pick up some regular day groceries or whatever, and you will never believe what I found. I went in there looking for some milk, maybe some chips, you know, the usual, nothing crazy. And then to my surprise, as I turned the other way, right at the cashier, I saw a full shelf full of Pokemon cards. And obviously, I had to pick all of them up. So let's check them out today. Okay, so let's check out what I got today. So starting off with just the regular old packs here, I was able to grab three of the Silver Tempest uh, sleep packs. Nothing too crazy there. I was honestly just surprised they had them in the first place. And then as per the request of one of my friends who came with me, I, I got three of these little like six card packs, kind of like Dollarama, Dollar Store kind of packs. I'm a little bit hesitant on them, but we'll see what's in there. I was also, able to grab three of these little tins. Now I know in here it's gonna be two packs of Lost Origins and then as well as two packs of, uh, I believe, Chilling Rain? And then it's gonna be the same for the last box right here. And I love, do love the artwork on these with the four different Pokemon, on the blue one and then also on the, uh, well I guess the dark type and the fighting type boxes. And then finally, the big one. And now, I was honestly surprised they had even anything like this in the first place. It was the Palkia and Dialga Origin Form Lunchbox. Now, I've actually never opened up one of these, but again, the Lost Origins packs are really what uh, sold me on it. So, let's start cracking into these things. Okay, so let's start off with these little, uh, I guess, six-pack random packs here. There's nothing in here that I'm specifically expecting. But, again, we will see maybe something good so yeah i don't even know if you can get v cards in these things or anything like that like a full art anything cool like that but maybe i guess we'll just start going into them and seeing now i don't think there's a pack trick here oh okay already i see okay so it said six rare cards so we got okay shift tree a reverse hollow crystal cave along with oh okay so a couple reverse hollows in here so a treasure and then nuzleaf and then a Garbodor regular rare. So it looks like it's gonna be mostly reverse hollows and then like rare cards. Nothing crazy, but I mean, these weren't very expensive, so I'm not surprised. And again, they're gonna be a little bit messed up here. Oh, look, Gar Garbodor again. <laughs> wow. Psyduck, Petal, um, ooh, reverse holo cra crab brawler. Seismitoad and Golem regular rare. Again, nothing nothing crazy in here, but I guess if you're like you're looking like just building up a collection, it, it it is pretty cool. Now last one, maybe we pull something cool in here. Oh, nice little side up there. Oh, Scolipede. That's pretty cool. I, I didn't expect to get something like that. Now I, I don't I'm not really checking the generation on these. I'm pretty sure they're all from like that's one from all like skies. Oh, look at that. That's a nice Carablast card, actually. I like the art on that one. Yeah, I think they're all from Sword and Shield era, so like relatively new cards, nothing like vintage or, or particular rare in here. But I mean, not much to expect for the what you're paying on these packs. And now we'll get into the new stuff. So obviously we have our Sword and Shield uh, just sleeve packs right here for Silver Tempest. Just do a little quick three-piece rip there. And I guess we'll start off with, I see what pack arts we got. So we have one Regilecki in the Regilecki, another Regilecki, and can we get three Regileckis? Oh no, ready Drago. Okay, so let's just start opening these up. And we do have a lot of cards actually to go through for one store. So I'm probably just gonna skip the pack trick today. Nothing too fancy. If I can even get this pack open, there we go. Yeah, so open this up here. So Dratini, Chinchow, Metatite, Dupiter, Ponyta, Raichu, and a Frost Glass regular rare. So yeah, the thing I think that surprised me most about this store was actually the fact that everything was retail. Like usually I feel like some of these smaller stores that get Pokemon in just immediately upcharge like an insane amount. But not this time around. It was like everything was, was a normal price. So that's why it was like I was considered to just like buy it all regular rare Verizion, nothing else in the rest of the pack. Yeah, so I, I pretty much cleared out everything they had in there. I know I, was, I left a little bit, but it wasn't like anything I would say too, too crazy. Another white code card. Again, nice thing about these last couple sets in, in uh, Sword and Shield are the trainer galleries. So, you know, always... Oops. Oh! Galleries. Wow! Black and gold Rayquaza VMAX! 
Oh, oh my, <laughs> this is crazy. For a convenience store, a convenience store. Oh my God, wow. Look at that card. I, 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 I'm speechless, I, I'm speechless right now. Let's set that at the back. Wow, I think for her, anything else in this, this whole opening, that just, that just immediately sets the bar. Wow, like, I, we gotta look at it one more time. Look at that. Oh, that's incredible. Ho, ho, ho. Wow, I guess I know where I'm, I'm gonna be going to buy my packs from here on out. Okay, so next let's crack into these tins. And, and again, like this is, this is nuts. Like these were at a convenience store. Who, who knows how long these packs were even sitting here for? Like, that's the thing. Like, th these could have been here for months. Who knows? But like, wow. Wow, wow, wow. And again, we're gonna get three packs in here. Like I said, two Lost Origin and then a Chilling Rain or Chilling Pain as some people call it. Even though I've had some pretty good luck from that. Nice Eevee coin there, nothing too crazy. Put that to the side and we'll crack into these packs. Again, no pack trick. We're just gonna motor on through there. I I'm, I'm shocked. I am shocked right now. Like, can this, like, can this get any better? Like, really, can this get any better? For the Shellos, Metatite, Hoopa, Reverse Hollow, and then a Dugong, Regular Rare. Yeah, Trainer Galleries are making these sets insane. Like, nuts. I know Crown Zen Zenith is gonna come up soon, and that one is just, in terms of pulls, stacked. Like, just stacked with nuts cards. But, again, wow. Wow, wow, wow. That is crazy. Oh, skipped a Shepard there. Litwick Reverse Hollow and a Credent regular rare. Yeah, like I guess I, I guess it's always been the the convenience store game, guys. I, I think that's where we're we gotta we gotta be hitting up our local convenience stores. Oh, good good code card. And now I forget if Chilling Rain actually used the good code cards. I think it did. And oh, it did! Nice, Lichen Rock Hollow, pretty cool there. Yeah, th this is this is craziness. This is craziness. I did not expect this video to be pulling four, you know, black and gold cards from a convenience store. Th like, like who who would have thought? Who would have thought this is where the good pulls were hiding? And again, let's get into this one. I don't know if the coins are going to be all the same. And it is another Eevee. Ooh, actually, ooh, geez, it's kind of scuffed down the middle there. A little surprising. I guess that's what happens when you keep them in tins. I guess we'll get chilling pain out of the way first. But again, you know, you can get some of those fuller birds in these packs, so... And not a good start. Now these sets do not have the trainer gallery in them, so... The green code card is kind of the green code card of death. Agron regular rare. Nice card though. I do like Agron. Again, now Lost Origins does have a trainer gallery, so even if we get... Oh, but we got a good code card here. So let's just skip the pack trick. The fairy, Lickitung, Horsey, Shellos. Oh, nice peak. I think this might be a double banger. This might be a double banger, guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Pikachu. Oh, into the Hisuian Zorog V Star. What a pack. Oh, man. Two of my favorite cards in this set. Wow. Look at the hits starting to pile up already. This is nuts. Okay, let's let's crack into this pack. White code card, not to fear. We can still get that nice trainer gallery. Rock rough, Shepet, Seal. Oh, oh! Skip the card, but again, Radiant Gardevoir. Like again, the Radiant. I forgot. Honestly, Radiant skipped my head completely. I know there's Gardevoir, Steelix, and Sneasler. I believe in this set. So yeah, that's pretty nice. And then they just a Politoed behind that. I guess we'll put that in the back as one of the hits too. Okay, so we are on to our final tin here. Now let's see if we have another Eevee. Oh, no, we actually have a uh, Zeraora one in this pack. That's pretty cool. Look at that. Nice little coin there. A little more silver and a little more shiny on that one. Okay, set this off to the side. Get into the packs. Do the Mo the Galarian Mar... Gal Hasuian or Mar Galarian? Hasuian. Hasuian. Oh, my... I'm awful, I'm awful today. Okay, no Patrick again. We're just gonna keep motoring on through. Swirlix, Lapras, Deerling, Sneasel, Reverse Hollow, and then a Weezing, Regular Rare. Nothing crazy in the pack after those. And then on to the good packs here. What, what hits today? Like, let's, let's, I cannot wait to recap this at the end of the video. This is nuts. Like, I did, I'm gonna be honest guys, I did not expect anything even remotely close to this and Malmar, Oh, that was the code card there, and a Mr. Mime regular rare. Yeah, I did not expect anything, anything remotely close to pulling like a golden black Rayquaza VMAX. Like, 
I was like hoping for maybe a couple V's, but you know, hey, we'll, we'll take what we can get here. And I don't think we're, oh no. Oh, Gengar, there's something behind it. I don't know if it's a regular V, but it is. Oh, nice, Rotom V. We still do have one more tin to go, which I've, I've never opened before. So I know this comes with a little more than the packs. It comes with, I think, a little booklet, the little little mini binder. So yeah, let's crack into this and see what it's got. So cracking into the lunch pail here. It's a little bit big to fit on camera, but we do have the promos. Ooh, and the, the carbon, the coin in there is pretty nice. I'm gonna keep the promos on this just to keep it kinda nice in the little packaging, but it does have the nice Dialga coin, and there's a really nice rainbow reflection on there. And then we have Growlithe, Sneasel, and Voltorb. Already a, already a change from, from what I expected. A box lied to us. I thought we were getting, from what the front says, two Astral, two Lost, and uh, one Fusion. But instead, instead, I guess the Lost Origins, they've switched out for Silver Tempest, so like the brand new set. I'm expecting some more Lost Origins, but I can't say I'm mad. I mean, Silver Tempest is delivered today, so let's just get into these last couple packs here and see what we can get out of them. Is it Drowsy, Growlithe, Mistrevious, Whalmer, Murkrow and a Miss Magius regular rare, nothing else in there. Yeah, I'm a little bit, I thought we were getting some Lost Origins here. I guess the packaging on the outside lied a little bit, but that's, I mean, packs are packs at the end of the day. Both the sets have really good stuff in them, so we can't be too, too mad. Oh, skipped a Feebass there, Sun Kern, Reverse Hollow, and a Armaldo regular rare. Okay, I guess we'll save, maybe we save Astral to last, so let's get Fusion Strike out of the way. And I guess, you know, I still haven't pulled that, uh, the Full Art Gengar yet, so we're still, we're still aiming for that. I forget what other cool cards are in Fusion Strike. I do like the Alt Art, um, believe it is, why can't I skip my Genesect right now? That's probably one of my favorite Alt Arts in that set. I just like how he's kind of like playing around and just like, you know, goofing off. Something I feel like you wouldn't expect to see Genesect do of all Pokemon, but... Pretty cool, so let's get into these last couple packs here. I have pulled most of the cool alt arts in this set, but you know, Bravery and the Hasuian Voltorb, which is actually I think the promo we got in this box. It is, but it is the actually the hollow version instead of the reverse hollow. But, so that's kind of neat. Okay guys, last pack. Can we get some last pack map? Okay, that's a good start. The black, black code card is a good start here. So we're gonna go through this. See what we got. Maybe we get another gold card to add to the collection. I did skip a Glamio. Eevee, Reverse, Hollow, and... Ooh, Typhlosion, Hollow to end it off. Anyways, guys, let's recap these cards and see what we got today. So starting off here in no particular order, we do have the Gengar Trainer Gallery card, and that one is super nice there. I love all the artwork in the back. They do a really good job on these cards. Rotom, Regular V, not to be carried away with. Radiant Gardevoir, I love the shine on these cards. Then we're gonna have the Pikachu Trainer Gallery, probably one of the best trainer galleries in the set. Charizard is probably, I think, a little bit better, but definitely a good one to do there. Then we're gonna have the Hisuian Zorark V-Star card here. What a great card. Not the artwork on it, not crazy, but I love how it's just like jumping out at you. And then finally, the best card of the day, arguably one of my best pulls of all time. Look at this, Rayquaza VMAX. Golden Black Trainer Gallery card. Hoo, hoo, hoo. What a wild pull from from a corner store. Let's let's get that straight. From a corner store, we pulled a secret rare Rayquaza card. Who would have thought? Who would have thought in a in a corner store where you buy bread and milk and scratcher tickets, you would have got a Rayquaza gold card? Just nuts, guys. Anyways, guys, that has been it for me today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.